it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to be doing these fun heart baubles. I want to do a Valentine's Day craft and um, I'm going to try this one. <laughs> so okay, uh, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate you know all the support, whether it's comments, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so one thing you may have noticed, this is photo paper. It is double-sided photo paper. Someone recommended it to me. I bought it and loved it. I haven't had a chance to try out any other photo paper. So um, that's why I just went with double-sided photo, double -sided photo paper. Um, both the photo paper and the hearts are on my Amazon shop. Um, so if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter, you can see all my categories. Um, they're mostly broken down by project. So it's easy to buy everything that you need for the project. Um, this heart bobble, you can see it fits in the palm of my hand, barely. Uh, I did the hundred mill milliliters, uh, millimeters, <laughs> and that comes out to just slightly under four inches. Cause I thought it was a good size, but you have a couple options there. So they open up. And I'm going to do for this project, I'm going to use it as an ornament and probably put a ribbon in here and give it to the person with their name, uh, probably in vinyl at some point. Uh, the other option is to break it into two and do, you know, some sort of like paper crafting like we do with the Pringles dome. So it comes in, you know, a full ornament, but we break it up and we do two projects out of them. So. Today's project though, we're gonna be putting all these fun things inside. And I think that one might be too big. We might have to do this. But you can kind of see, I wanted to show you um, why I use Canva. So I use Canva to design because if you notice, this is eight and a half by 11, if I can pick it up. So it's eight and a half by 11 and it printed all the way to the edges. So I knew these designs were going to be a simple cut where I'm just gonna stick it through my paper cutter right now. I'm going to show you. Um, so I didn't need to go through design space, which is nice because otherwise I would be limited to 6.75 inches by nine and a quarter. So you do lose some sizing uh, by using design space. So if you think about it um, and you can design your way around it, then you could use the full photo paper. Okay. Um, well, what I wanted to show you too is you can kind of see these are going to be cut into threes and these will fold in half. Um, but you want to give yourself space and this really just comes out to be you know three of these small size items okay so i'm going to be doing that okay so wait let me do this okay so i'm going to cut this one close to this side this one i'm going to give more room and this one i'll cut right in the middle so i know a lot of fast talking right now let me show you what that looks like so I'm just going to take my paper cutter and quickly cut this. So I don't need my Cricut because I'm just doing basically some rectangles right now. Okay. And I obviously, I didn't do a lot. I didn't spend a lot of time designing. I just wanted some cute little Valentine's Day stuff. Okay. So this one, soulmate and I love you. So cute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick this in here. I'm gonna glue it down right here. Um, I will say Barely Art Glue is perfect for these projects. Um, it's so easy to, uh, I'm gonna take, well, you know what, I'm gonna leave it in. I usually don't, but, cause I, when I do that, um, the whatchamacallit, the potato chip bags, I don't, but. All right, so put a thin line down. And what's nice about the photo paper and Barely Art glue is that it dries really quickly. It's just enough glue, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna glue the, the other two sides down. So I'm just gonna run this in here. And I'm gonna hold it down. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn off this light. There's so much of a glare. All right. I know it's just the photo paper is so beautiful. It's very glossy, as you can see. So even right now, the light is coming down on it. Okay. So now my two sides are glued down. I'm gonna do this last one here. 
And actually what I want to do is I'm going to give myself more room. I'm going to fold this in like this and then stick it in. And that's going to give me more space to glue right here. Now what I've noticed with these projects is definitely don't scrimp on size. So don't try to max out so much that it becomes really hard to hold down. See like that popped up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm gonna use my crimper and this always helps to kind of seal it as well. I'm gonna hold it down and run it through the crimper a little bit. So you get this little mark and it really does help to glue it down as well. So I'm gonna now stick it on this side. That one came in a little crooked. I'm gonna redo it. And that's what's nice about the crimper. So you saw me do it, it came out crooked. I just put it back in and look at how cute that is. Now this is now way too big for my bauble, but it's a nice little Halloween or Valentine's Day treat. So sold me on one side and look at how quick that was. I'm still pressing it down just to make sure it's gonna stay glued, glued down. All right, so that's one. All right, that's not fitting in my bauble. No way. <laughs> um, let's do this one next. Okay. So this is so cute. Be my Valentine, yes or no. And then it's like on the date, I love you. So cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stick this in and we can, um, so when you're designing this, basically in, de in Canva, and I will have the design space tutorial, I mean, <laughs> the Canva tutorial as well. Um, I just put in eight and a half by 11 and then I know I'm gonna break this up into three. I'm not going to be, like I said, I'm not gonna be super cheap about it and try to max out and do like four items to this sheet. You know, three is good because then it allows, you know, all this room. And actually now that I think about it because I did put so much room, I don't think it's gonna fit inside my bobble. <laughs> but we can trim it in a little bit. So let's glue this down and see what we have. I'm gonna push that in. So I'm kind of holding it down, it's drying. I'm gonna glue down this side as well. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in. This crimper is also on my Amazon shop. And look, it, it's so cute. Once you crimp it, I just feel like it looks so professional. <laughs> I've seen some people take, um, you know, like little um, cute little scissors to them where it has like the shape. But this is so cute. Will you be my Valentine? Oh, it's so cute. You can put your name on there. You know, you can really personalize them. So yeah, now I'm making them way too big. It's not even gonna fit in this bobble. So actually, this is not a bobble, <laughs> a bobble um, tutorial, but more of just, you know, a fun Valentine's Day Canva one. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. These are just cute if you wanted to do them for your kid's classroom. Um, we are not allowed to do any treats in our classroom. So I couldn't even do these even though they're not open. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue this one without it in there. Um, but you can put your kid's name on here. So if you didn't want them to have to write their name, you could do cute little Valentine like puns. Um, and this is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna glue down the other side. So funny that what started out, okay, so I still need a Valentine bobble craft. I have one. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put treats in there without these, because this adds too much sizing to it. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in. And I'm going to, just like the other one, I'm gonna fold it up just to give myself more room to work with this. Oh, this one's kind of tight. I'm gonna use a different one. I'm gonna use the Ghirardelli square.
So when it gets too tight, you kind of saw that it's hard to glue down and we're not here to make it hard. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna bypass it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in this little thing. And I'm just gonna go around all the edges because it helps kind of like glue it together. And then it also just looks really nice. So there you have it. Is that cute or what? All right, let me move this down a little bit. So we had Ghirardelli squares and we had the Welch's fruit snacks in there. This one didn't fit because if you see, I didn't cut them evenly. I gave more room to this one because that one fit this originally. I gave less room for these two, which are the Ghirardelli squares. I think um, I could have made this one smaller. So you could do basically three snacks. All right, I will see you on the next tutorial. I hope this was helpful and so fun, right? Just so stinking cute. All right, I will see you next time. Let me know what you wanna see, comments, questions. Bye.